What about you? Welcome to Pimmerlawn's video. Today we're going to be renovating this very bumpy lawn. We're going to go through it step by step. Let's go. Having a look, here's one of the holes. There's a few holes the whole way up there. It's hard to see them. There's a bit of shade there. Now, if this was your own lawn, you'd want to cut this before you started. As this is a customer's lawn, we don't always have the luxury to cut the grass before we get here. We're just here to do the renovation work. So to stop and have a look at some of these cords, just take a small selection of the cords that have come out of this lawn. There's not a lot of thatch in this lawn. We're not aerating the lawn to remove thatch because there isn't a lot of thatch here. We're aerating the lawn to let the air down in and help stop compaction. If you're enjoying this video, folks, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe for more videos like this. Now, let's get on with it. Stopped halfway to see what's come out, and it's the usual affair. We have to have a sample of this. We have our moss, we have our thatch. We have mostly moss through this lawn, a fair bit of thatch. Thatch is just an organic layer that grows naturally in your lawn, and would need to do the scarf fan to remove it just to control it. Some thatch in your lawn is good, but whenever you have too much, it starts to become an issue. So, getting it out really important. Great for your lawn. Let's get on with it. We now have it scarified just the once. I'm going to go over it twice, so I'm going to take it down at that angle. We did it straight across, and I'm going to go at that angle. That's quite harsh in the lawn and should take an off out. You can see the amount that's come out after the double scarf and I'm gonna say it has been a bit damper this week than what I thought. This stuff's quite damp, so I think what we'll do, he'll finish this off, and then we'll go and have a cup of tea, and that'll give a chance for all this material to dry. And whenever we come back, it's gonna make it much, much easier to tidy up. Going to give you a quick tip if you have top dressing coming to the job always cover it up whenever topsoil gets wet it's a disaster the place we bat from they keep it under cover and it's a joy to work with that stuff there you go lovely dry topsoil perfect Now we'll just start leveling these out. Always say in all my leveling videos, always put a bit out, level it out. If you do it in bits, if you, do, if you put some in, level it down, put more in, level it down, then you're gonna get less sinkage later. It's always amazing whenever you start to fill in a small hole, whenever you start to push it out, a small hole can turn into a very big hole and you can end up using a lot more material than you first originally thought. That only started as a wee small hole. And it's gonna end up being quite a, a large area by the time we finish. There's quite a big dip through here, so go ahead and put it in here, Danny. Mm -hmm. 
anytime we're doing bumpy lawns or leveling lawns, people are always saying, Robbie, how come do you only ever fill in dips? Do you never take off rises? Well, a lot of that's to do with the gardens we'll work in. The likes of this garden, it's very bumpy. There's a lot of dips in it. That is just the way the gardens are whenever we come to them. Now, if you have a garden and there's a rise in it, the best thing to do is to strip off the turf, take the soil out, and then put the turf back down again. For dips in areas like this here, by the time we strip that out, the chances are the turf that comes out of it isn't going to be in any good shape or form and it's not going to be usable. So it is a lot more cost effective for us and for the customer for us to fill those dips in and then to seed them. You can use this bit of rake to push or if you have a big pile you can use this to push. some places in this garden don't know why not the camera picks it up down here through here there's a big dip really caused by these big trees here so a lot of big trees here and over time it's causing a lot of dips through there and that's all we're looking to do any holes in the garden we're just looking to fill those in say any big massive indentations that's going to be far too much and that'll be a totally different job I had a walk across the lawn and we found a couple of holes just so we're going to fill these in. For final level, the lawn looks hard to beat. Just nice and easy, pull it across and use it to pull any high bits over into the low areas. It never fails to amaze me. You start off with what you think is a small hole, and by the time you finish, you can see all this area that we're, we're actually filling in. Today, we're using a mix of rye and fescue. Just uh, We're not using dwarf rye. We're just using a normal rye and fe fescue, because I think it'll work really well in this garden. Now, I'm going to put the grass on just with my hands, like chicken feed. Now, I know some of you get upset if you think I'm doing it wrong. Leave me a comment down below. I've been doing it like this for 30 years. If you didn't know how much grass seed to use, what you would do is you would measure out the areas and then you would measure out the weight of the seed and you would use enough seed for the area. That's, a, that's an idiot proof to do it. We're just going to throw it out on the different piles and then we're going to give it a light raking. If you want to get good seed to soil contact, you could stand it all in. I'm going to give it a really, really light rake. You could use a drag mat, you could use a roller. There's different ways you can do it. Just giving it a light rake will do it 110%. So that's what I'm going to do now. Our next task now, Daniel's just putting on the iron. We'll put that on afterwards because we'll want to burn the moss. Now, any of the, the areas that we've soiled and seeded, we're going to leave a good space around those because we don't want Whenever you put down iron, it can burn seed, so we don't want to put iron down on top of the seed. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure to watch this video next. It's all about filling in holes in your lawn, and I'll see you over there now. <laughs>